Hello everyone, how to simplify this nice algebraic expression without using the calculator? If we have 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and its whole exponent is 12. So we write this algebraic expression into the simplified form. But you remember one thing is that calculator is not allowed in this problem. So we need to do all of these working in this paper. So I hope so you like this method. Uh, and now here we move towards the solution of this problem. So here uh, the very first thing we are going to do is first we need we will just take the base of this term is equals to x. So here we have x is equals to 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2. So when we take the base equals to x it means that we need to find the value of x to the power of 12. Okay. So here we find the value of x to the power of 12 and for this here first we need to simplify the terms and now we move uh, this two. Uh, from right hand side to the left hand side and it will be written as 2x is equals to 1 plus square root of 5 and now here further in the next step we move plus 1 uh, to the left hand side and it will becomes 2x minus 1 is equals to square root of 5 and now here uh, in the next step uh, we need to take squaring on both of the sides so when we apply squaring it will be written as these two and this square root are also cancelled out by each other and in the left hand side we apply the nice algebraic formula and it will be written as 2x square plus 1 square minus 2 times of 2x into 1 is equals to 5 and here we move 5 from right hand side to the left hand side so this is 2x square becomes 4 times of x square and this is 1 square becomes 1 and this is 2 times 2 becomes 4x this is plus 5 when we move it into the left hand side it will becomes minus 5 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now here in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as this is 4x square minus 4x this is 1 minus 5 becomes minus 4 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now we divide each of these terms by 4 because 4 be the common term. Okay, so that we divide both of the sides by 4. This 4 and this 4 are cancelled. These are these are cancelled. This and this are cancelled. So after cancellation of terms, we get here x square minus x minus 1 is equals to this is 0 divided by 4 becomes here 0. So from here uh, we move minus x minus 1 to the right hand side and it will becomes x square is equals to x plus 1. So we call this is our equation number 1. Because here our target is to uh, get the values of x to the power of 12. Uh, so for this here first we need to take uh, q power uh, on both of the sides. So here we need to take cube on both of the sides. Then after taking cube it will be written as in this form x plus 1 whole cubed. So in the left hand side you see here this is 2 times 3 becomes 6. So we get x to the power of 6. Here we apply the nice cubic formula uh, and uh, you know about that. After applying this formula it will be written as x cubed plus 1 plus uh, x cubed plus 1 cubed plus 3 times of x into 1 into x plus 1 okay so this is the very nice cubic formula which we write here into the uh, which we can apply into the right hand side and now here further this is uh, x cubed uh, and here we break this x cubed as x square is multiplied by x and this is 1 cube becomes 1 and we multiply 3x on both of these two values and it will becomes 3x square plus 3x and now here we convert over all of these terms into the square form and a x form so that here we need to use uh, our equation number one okay so using uh, one we get here so when you put x square equal x plus one on both of these two values it will be written as x plus one because x square is equals to x plus one and this is our x plus one plus three times of x square and here our x square is equals to x plus one plus this is our three x and, and now here uh, further in the next step we need more simplifications and here we multiply this x on both of these two values it will becomes x square plus x plus one 
plus we multiply 3 on both of these two values and it will become 3x plus 3 and plus 3x so we again substitute the value of x square here uh, so it will become x plus 1 and here we need to sum up all of these values so we have x plus 3x becomes 4x 4x plus 3x becomes here 7x and this is 1 plus 3 becomes here 4 so we uh, we can write this 4 here this value be the value of x square okay and after some summation of these values we get this one so here uh, we need more simplification and this x plus 7x becomes 8x and 1 plus 4 becomes here 5 so uh, here we get x to the power of 6 is equals to 8x plus 5 because here our target is to get the value of x to the power of 12 uh, so for this we take squaring on both of the sides so when we apply squaring on both of the sides it will be written as in this form and now here in the right hand side we need to use the nice algebraic formula so we write it as this is 8x whole square plus 5 square plus 2 times of uh, 8x into 5 and in the left hand side this these two exponents are multiplied by each other and we get this is x to the power of 12 and we have x to the power of 12 is equals to 8 square becomes 64 times of x square and 5 square becomes 25 and here we have 8 5 is 40 40 times 2 becomes 80x okay so here we again use uh, equation number one or our equation number one is implies that x square is equals to x plus one so we replace this x square equals to x plus one and this will be written as 64 times of x plus one plus this is 25 plus 80x uh, and here further we multiply 64 on both of these two values and it will become 64x plus 64 and plus 25 plus this is our 80x and here we need to sum up both of these two values and 80 plus 64 uh, becomes here 144x and 64 plus 25 is equals to 89 okay so here this is the value of x to the power of 12 because here x is involved so that we need to move backward and we substitute uh, the value of x which we can take in the start of the problem okay so here in the start of the problem we will take here our x is equals to 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 so we put this value on both of the sides and it will be written as 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 and its whole power is 12 equals to 144 into 1 plus square root of 5 divided by 2 and plus 89 so here we need little bit more simplifications and we easily get the value of uh, uh, the required expression so this is 2 times 7 becomes 14 2 times 2 becomes uh, 74 so this will become 72 and we multiply 72 on both of these two values it will becomes 72 plus 72 times of square root of 5 plus this is our 89 so when we uh, sum up uh, 72 plus 89 so uh, this is equals to 161 plus this is 72 times of square root of 5 so this is the our required simplified form of the given expression and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos